So today we're playing Accolades Comics, the Commodore 64. Uh, we've sunk one hour thirty minutes into the game so far, and I want to remember dying to some kind of treadmill game, something like that. That's where I'm gonna keep continuing from. And holy crap, you guys are winning a lot of stuff over there. Nice indeed. I guess Gekbot's back. <laughs> Happy to see you back. Or maybe it's the... The no win timeouts. No, wait. Um, don't mind that. There's no such thing as no win timeouts. There's no such things. Everything is completely random every time you pull you pull the gambling command. I promise you. <laughs> I completely promise you, don't look that shit up. <laughs> God damn it. So, as I said, this is Accolades Comics for the Commodore 64. Also known as the Steve Keen comics. Uh we sunk one hour, thirty minutes into the game, and we'll continue from where we left off last time. There we go. I could just remember... I think I need to change my, my controller settings. Somewhere. Where is that one? Joystick settings, swap joysticks. God damn it, I hate this. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That was something at least. And we want to recall a saved game, right? But that's definitely not the right PB. <laughs> Please insert side C and press return. Uh, attach, drive, A, B, C, I'm pretty certain it's this one. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -bang. So, th oh yeah, 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 I forgot to save in a long time here. So right when we climb out of the water, that's where we were. There was something about some big alien leaders here in the secret base and everything. I kind of remember where we were, but just kind of. Couldn't believe my eyes. This was the largest furnace I've ever seen. Well, that has no. No. Well, that was no furnace there. Something big was going down. Yep. Yeah. So we're we're in some kind of like. Oh Jesus Christ! What were you supposed to do here? Ladder. I think it was this one. You use the hook to get down, if I recall correctly. Exactly, you fly down there in all your style and grace. <laughs> no one has seen me, but I had to find out that the professor was being held. Where's the Martian ambassador? <laughs> well, this is the random answer that's apparently right. Because I want to recall. You don't understand? Uh, it's basically a choose your own adventure. So I get to choose uh, some of the things we say. What's up? That ramp there around the corner. Fifth door on your right. Alright, thanks. 
It's a it's an interactive comic. A little like Bander Bandersnatch. <laughs> and now he screams, Hey! I better see what he wants, or I'd better make a run for it. But I remember it was this one. I better see what he wants. We've gone through this once before, that's why I know all of these. God, that animation is so nice. So sweet. <sighs> You'll need these. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> of course, the keys. How could I forget? <laughs> Silly me. We should probably save soon. <clears throat> That's three for me, one for you. That's the professor there, that we've been sent out to save. <laughs> I'd like to discuss my grades. Your wife's on the line three. I think it was shift 2 to save. Yes, exactly. Now it takes some time to do the saving because you insert disk A into the um, into the Commodore. Then it writes to that disk and then you'll insert the original disk again. So the saving process is a bit slow, but well, at least we won't have to go through all of this again. This is a pretty strange game, <laughs> I do agree, but I I find it oddly charming somehow. I really do. Alright, so we're here to rescue him. Do we want to discuss our grades, or is his wife on line 3? I think the right thing was to say that you're Steve Keen and you're here to rescue him, if I recall correctly. Well, so has everyone's Christmas been? I hope you've had a, a nice set of holidays. Just in time too. Those villains are preparing to launch the satellite. We have no idea what the satellite is at this point, but... Uh, I guess it's bad. It's powered by my fuel processor. It'll be in orbit within 90 seconds of launch. Are they going to destroy Citizen with some new death ray? Will they seed the atmosphere with some virulent poison? Are they going to hurl asteroids? Hev assorted heavy things at Earth? No, it's some kind of death ray. Of course it is. Just reached Hobbit maturity on Saturday. What's that? Is it like 35? That? And worse! They're going to pirate pay TV channels. 33? Ah. Oh. <laughs> now I'm two years away. At the moment. Oh, like. One and a half, I guess. Thank you. Come again. Professor, we've got to find the complex power supply. Gotta get out of here. Launch control room. I think we went to the launch control room. Congratulations, Goro. <laughs> you're, you're officially a grown hobbit now. Look, Professor, over there. Did you do anything special for your birthday? Launch control and laundry room. I just wish the loading times in this game was like a tenth of the time. Wait, you two, where are your badges and hats? Uh, well, uh, uh, look, 
You're representing Doom Plots Incorporated. Put on your corporate uniforms. Eat some good food and watch movies with a family. So you're just relaxing. Sounds great. Sounds really good. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> we down that guard. How can we stop this thing? The ladder or the door? Let's save again here. Or I don't know if I'm on the right path. I think so. Sorry about the swapping back and forth, but it's... <laughs> it's that we don't have to go through all of these motions again, because... Me failing was the reason we have to go through all of this again. <laughs> yeah, I don't, we'll we'll probably have time this time around. Just give us a bit more heads up than what was it last time? Like a day? <laughs> give us at least like three days, as long as it's not the sixteenth of February. That weekend, I know I'm busy. Ah, that's what I wanted. Prof, do you have any K Tech crazy glue? <laughs> ah, so we're gonna disrupt his antenna. Clever boy. Why, right, as a matter of fact, I do. Here you go. see what this does. Why would gluing the base of the antenna helps with... I don't know. I'm no scientist. I'm no scientist and I'm not an engineer. Lost the feed. For me? It's actually been really good. It's been really damn great. Um, my, my mother and her <laughs> her man <laughs> has a uh, has a separate house up in Dalana, which uh, the wife and I were allowed to reside in while we were up there. So it was really nice, really really nice. We had a house all to ourselves with like a um, what's it called? A fireplace, keep warm. There was almost no electricity or like electrical heating, so you had to uh, keep the fire stoked to retain heat and it was so goddamn cozy. <laughs> it was amazing really. Satellites inoperable. No <laughs> the glue. So it's been great really. It's been really great. The video games in the lounge are out. Isn't there a damn new Steve Keens moment soon? I will find who's responsible and crush them. I have put them back and crushed them again. Also, we've had, I, I think I mentioned that, we've had some carpenters here to put up no, new wallpapers in two of the rooms here in the apartment. It turned out to be really good. Looks really damn good. It's up to be. Or pizza. I think you're being Carl's rule. It must be bonkers, Keen. <laughs> Whoa, this is where we're saved, because this is where the dumb uh, minigame is. What's everything, friend? 
Yeah, dumb minigame hype. Steve Keen at your next GDQ. <laughs> That's the wrong disc. What? Which one did you want? Didn't they want? <laughs> Aww. Oh, side B. <laughs> Dancing dad. It was amazing. <laughs> I dig this dedication throughout the, ma the marathon. Was he ever asleep? <laughs> I thought it was on screen like 20 hours a day. The best thing was that he looked genuinely to enjoy himself. He didn't look like he didn't look like one of those who just wanted attention. He actually looked like he genuinely enjoyed what he was doing. Oh shit, I mean a game hype. I don't remember if I need speed here. I think so. Up. Oh. I want speed here. Oh. This is so bad. Turn around. There we go. Long jump. Uh, I think I want speed here. I want this one to go forward. We should land. Wait, what? I guess we want to go low speed. <laughs> this minigame makes no sense. It's so goddamn dumb. So do we want low speed here maybe? So basically what, what, how this works is depending on which way the treadmills are rotating, you jump further or shorter when you run off the edges of them. If I jump off here with low speed, maybe I'll get to the yellow one on the right. I can try. I have a save spot that's pretty on point. Don't change direction. Yeah. Alright, so that did the trick. Question is just, I think I went speed to the left now. Up. Apparently not. This minigame makes no sense. <laughs> we fell into the acid twice. Now we're dead. Alright, so favorite GDQ runs, everyone. <laughs> everyone is checking. Got to love Comic Zone until I am with you at Goromixes. I love Cynic. He's great. <laughs> well, I'm with you there, Geekbot. Cynic is great. <laughs> Gotta love Comic Zone until I'm with you. Long ass intro. I think my favorite GD my favorite GDQ runs were either it was Headphone Jack. That one's really good. 
Or it could have been... Um, I think the Final Fantasy IX run was very impressive. I like that one a lot. Well, there's a few runs I know I've missed that I really want to see. I really want to see um, the Sonic 1 run. I've heard that one was really good. And... If one was it more? There was one more I, I know I like. I need to see this one. There was Sonic 1... God, I can't recall. Chippendale? Was it a co-op run? Oh, are we all the way back here? Because Chippendale co-op or one play two controllers would be really, really fun to see. It was a race, but both players played in two-player mode. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, two play one controller or one play two controllers. I always found that. Th I, I've I've always admired people who do that. It's uh, it's a really impressive feat. Tape the pads together, like long one long or like opposite of one another. Because I know opposite of uh, one another is what uh, Yagamoth often does. He plays uh, Secret of Mana a lot. Is it side B? Ah, that's unfortunate. Because I know Yagamoth has two SNES controllers that they basically taped um, like backside to backside. So he has buttons on the backside and on the front side, and then he plays. <clears throat> it's really impressive. Should de definitely check out his channel, Yagamoth. I think it was an. Which no GDQ this time around. I think this was a really good GDQ. I really liked it. Hope Squidward's uh, Majora's Mask run was also really good. Alright, so let's do it counter this time around, see where we end up. What? So. Both on low speed and on high speed, I fall down. But there, as far as I understand, there is no jumping to this one. I can check the manual again. Yeah, conveyor belt is just walk light, right and left. You can find the. Um, it's here. You can find the um, uh, manual over there, and it does seem to indicate that you can just run le left and right here. But it does mention one place where I need to jump onto the. Uh, Lonely, um, lonely wheel. Yeah, 
You don't read German? Oh yeah, you don't. <laughs> I forget. Sorry. Wait, what? Is there... Is there a jump distance... When everything stops as well? How do you hyperspeed this thing? Warp mode, there we go. Because I need to load everything again. And I don't have the patience for this. Let's go wait, wait. You see? It's like twice as far. Yeah, that's as far as I've ever gotten. Yes, load as fast as you can, game. Let's warp past this too. This is really so unnecessarily long time it takes to get through all of this. I found something here. You can do Alt S to save state. I wonder if I should do that for this. Just because this takes so long to go through all the time. It's just a waste of time, really. Just look like stars on my uh, <laughs> on the chat I use here. I was like, did Gekpot just get censored? This part isn't particularly fun, I must say. This part is actually pretty annoying. <laughs> Just because I don't really know, I should speedrun this. Yeah, interactive comics. This is the place I don't really know which speed I should have. Like, I think I should be opposite speed, so I think the wheel should turn this. I think this is where I'm supposed to jump. I ain't gonna make it in time. Alright, so let's try it here. Come on! Come on, Steve! Nope. So not... Not that way. <laughs> So this conveyor belt says they are to steer keen up the platform via a labyrinth of treadmills that also change direction. The jump distance of keen depends on the direction of the band. Running direction of the band and keen is equal, keen jumps far. Direction and keen band different, keen jumps short. Normally keen has to jump a long way, but at one point where he has to jump on a standalone wheel, you have to jump for a short one. And when 
and the single wheel has to turn counterclockwise. Hey, Cookie Mom! Nice to see you again. Yeah, Guardian Legend was amazing. Guardian Legend was so damn good. Now we're trying to make our way up Treadmill Hell. Clockwise. Do I have to jump at the exact time when the wheels turn? Now I jump too far. Ugh. God damn it. No, I'm actually gonna do this. Alright, see you around to be more pizza. <laughs> nice of you to stop by. I know. I use these states here, but I don't want to go through 10 minutes waiting for cutscenes just to try this thing out again. Ah, crap. It turned direction. Yes, the moments before I jumped. Uh. <sighs> How's everything been for cookies since I last saw ya? Have you had a good weekend? Or holidays, I guess. So much gig fail? Yeah. I guess that's sort of what I do at the moment. How do I... I need to make a short jump. It says in the manual. Just stand here maybe? That's how you do it. God damn it. Prepping for PAX South? Are you involved in uh, PAX? There we go. So the trick was, you had to not run at the end of the treadmill. And then he just slides away. Success! <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Shit! I didn't even know what that was. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that was. I didn't even have time to start moving. Shit! The wheel changed direction while it was mid-air. God damn it. What does it say? Keen is in a room where a goblin is throwing bombs and a dog wants to use it for food. He has only one chance. He has to distract the bombs so that they hit the balcony where the bomb thrower is. 
and explodes. He can only block bombs coming from the top. He can only avoid the dog by jumping over it. To win, all the bricks of the balcony must be blown up. Ah. A goblin? Where did the goblin come from? Coming to get ya! No wait, it's rail car. Kin is in a room with blue and red trapdoors and three levers and an elevator on the left and right. The task to gain Keen from the top to the top fourth level. Alright, so I can only move left and right. I thought you died. <laughs> What's up, Rouge? I didn't die. I just had a very long streaming pause during the weekends. I was away for two weeks, up to my parents. Uh, then last week we had carpenters here, who put up new... Um, what do you call it? Shit! Oh. Put up new wallpapers everywhere. I'm using quick loads here to not go through 10 minutes of cutscenes before we can try this again. <laughs> Just so everyone knows. Before you're like, what's up with this? Why are you using stave states? Because I want to do something else today. <laughs> then running up the. or oh, watching cutscenes. Colors are really washed out, aren't they? Got a shitty CRT emulator. I won't mess around with the color settings like right now. Because if I do, I'm gonna break something. get how this works. Uh. 
Oh, no, no. Aha. I, I, I wasn't the one opting to get out of the minecart. He did that entirely by himself. God damn it. Shit, I'm dead. No, I'm safe. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yes. Don't open blue, don't open blue. Alright, so how do I get... How do I get up now? Get up, get up, get up. What? Oh, only the blue one goes all the way up. Seems like. No! Oh! No, no, no! Oh. Go up, go up, go up. Yes. Gotcha. All right, that's that's it, right? Nope. Is this where uh... I'm voting is opened? You want to see more of Accolades comics, also known as the Adventures of Steve Keen. Oh yeah, it's this one. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, shit, this is bad. To jump over the dog, you also have to make sure. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Frush. It wasn't made about. Ah, shit. It was submitted by a bigger J. I don't know if they they are around anymore. I haven't seen that name in a little while. I don't think I have at least. I actually I work together with a guy who's like really big on games like this. He, he even codes his own Amiga games on his spare time. German is still had a king. When was that? <laughs> when was the German king uh, abdicated? Was it the, was it that guy Otto Otto von something? Or is it called abstained? When you sort of like kick a king off a throne. Bonus life awarded. Oh, we should we should definitely save this. No, we shouldn't really save this. 
Or can I... Can I save here? Is that board work? Nope. They're not allowed to save here. Alright, so we voted to continue. Well, that was sloppy. Extra life awarded again. Damn. We're too good at this. <laughs> so now we just need to find out the goblin and the dog. <laughs> Mammoths weren't extinct yet. <laughs> So we're talking somewhere around like 3,000 years ago. Jesus, Keen Yum's so low. Oh my, I blow so little of this away. It is ridiculous. Here's some, here's some quality gameplay. I need to remove all of these blocks to complete this. Ah, shit. I'm so goddamn scared of that dog. Right, we're getting there. We're getting there. One more bomb. Take this, goblin. Yes. Are we done now? <sighs> Bonus life awarded. Again? Ins please insert side C. And press return. I guess I still can't save. Nope. Please don't let it be more... I know there's more mini games. Uh, 
I made it past their defenses. How would I get the professor though? Yeah, we're gonna save here. Like, legit save. I guess we could save state as well, because it's basically the same. How would we get the professor? Are we standing on a skateboard? I think so. Hey, secret door. <laughs> of course. Why didn't we think about looking inside of there? Look, Professor, a destruct switch. Stand back. Destruct switch. Yeah, we have a w no, <laughs> not stinky fish. We stinky fish is fall around like August or September. Attention, everyone! This fortress is going to self-destruct. This way to the flying getaway cars. <laughs> um, but during Christmas, we have a lot of pickled fish, or pickled herring, more specifically. Uh, then salmon, like um, smoked salmon, um, pickled salmon, um, well, cooked salmon, and then like sausages, um, all kinds of so sausages, um, meatballs of course, uh, ham, and... Uh, Johnson. It's um, anjovis. What is, what is it? Eels. Uh, eels is traditional in like um, some parts of Sweden. Yes. Personally, I don't like eel. I don't like eel eel at all. It's uh, it's slimy. It doesn't really taste anything, and uh, they're sort of they're not extinct, but they're I think they're red listed, so you shouldn't really eat them. And it looks like a snake. That too. Although I think you can eat snake actually. I haven't done it personally, but I'm pretty sure you can. Stop them, daddy. They mustn't take Chitty away. A haunted getaway car. What? I dropped the professor off in Greece. I wanted to lay low for a while. It, I was, it was fine with me. A person has the right to enjoy his own kidnapping. Oh, is this the end of this storyline? Oh yeah. As for me, I met a cute girl somewhere over France, and we made happy loops with each other. Your place, my place or yours? I just had to get that bond, bond moment in. But that's... I think I've covered most of it. Peter Bergeron. score as well.
Fish got a lot of protein. <laughs> I think so. But I think... Like, being tall... I think it sort of correlates with having a cold climate. Doesn't it? Or maybe it doesn't. I think there's some kind of correlation there, at least. But I'm not entirely sure. But it doesn't really explain the Netherlands. The Ned People from the Netherlands also tends to be really, really damn tall. But I'm not sure if Dutch people eat. Can anything really explain the Netherlands? Good point. I don't think so. Alright, so play game. So we've completed one of the storylines now. A kidnapped professor. Yeah. But I think it gets too cold eventually. Some mega city, USA. Because I think, um, if I recall correctly, it consumes less energy to heat a larger body. Or like, it consumes less energy per cubic centimeter to keep a large body warm. But you reach a certain point where it's so cold that being small is still beneficial. I, I don't really remember the math behind this, but I remember I l read... I used to read a magazine that was called Illustrated Science, which was basically popular science. But they explained a lot of concepts, and cold climates and being tall was one of those correlations, and they had some kind of math to prove it. It's basically like a, a mouse consumes more energy per cubic foot to retain their body heat. Uh, compared to, say, a dog. But a dog still consumes more energy in total to keep itself warm because it's much larger. But it can also eat much bigger volumes. And thus you actually can, cons can absorb more energy. Alright, so here's where we can actually choose... Uh, quest. Sort of a storyline. You have this one. And this one. This is the one we've completed. Have you seen this week's times? Okay, flies, I'm ready for you now. So this is the other one. Search side B straight away. I really wonder why they separate. Oh, that's not. Oh wait, was it a D? Yeah, side D. Sit down, Keen. I've got something to show you. That could be true too, Frouge. I guess you could um, manipulate genetics that way. And if it becomes a cultural thing, and if you war a lot, if you war a lot and you leave the weak behind all the time, you can sort of perform a society self selection, sort of. Well, it's, it's not. It's not impossible. Chief, I'm scared of the dark.
But there's also the thing... Grow up, Keen. There's also the thing, um... Uh, tribes that live in, like, jungles tend to become shorter, or, like, that lives in a lot of, um, forests tend to become shorter, and tribes that lives on, um, open fields, meadows, steppes, and such, tends to become taller. That might also add, because the... In a dense forest, it's good to be relatively small, but in a pretty open area, it's beneficial to be tall so you can see far. And the forests around here aren't really dense. What's up, Todori? How you doing? <laughs> good to see you again. This film was taken last Tuesday by one of our agents, disguised as a mailbox. You can see this uh, sort of in uh, many Amazonian tribes tends to be pretty short, but uh, native people in America tended to be quite tall, and the Native Americans tended to be more of steppe people, whereas Amazonian tribes tended to be jungle people. The jungle tribes. And I know there's other examples as well. Like, nomadic tribes that lives in deserts tends to be taller. So here's a water post that we're watching for some reason. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe the tigers thought it was beneficial to eat the big ones. If you down them, you have more food. And here's two water posts, or fire hoses, or fire posts, or whatever they're called. Where's all the Americans when you need them? Fire hydrants! Only reproducing fire hydrants. The oh. Dory, welcome. You're now one of the privileged citizens of Gechtenstein. Very much appreciated. Don't forget Jay Rift. No, I haven't forgotten Jay. It's just that I haven't seen him in a while. Wait, yours didn't show up? No, he didn't show up in... <laughs> huh. It, it even does say... I can see it in chat here. Uh, I can fire it again if you want to. I chose his chance for me too, two minutes ago. Yeah, here we go. Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs> AJ Rift. One year. Wow. Well, we know what one year means. You'll. I'll get to pick a free one. I'll get to pick a free game. Basically... Basically, you'll get to step in front of the queue. And uh, pick one encounter, whatever you want. However, Yorkie is actually in front of you in the line, because he finally decided on what he wants. So we will play that one. But after we play Yorkies, after this one we'll play Yorkies, and after that one, if you have anything, whenever we're about to do a raffle, just yes, shout! And I'll cut you before the line. Hard <laughs> Gothic is a good game. <laughs> What's going on in the story here? I haven't been reading it all. Firemen can't put out fires because the imitation hydrants don't yield water. So someone is putting out fake fire hydrants. 
Sneaky bastards. <laughs> oh, I see what's going on. Yeah, Gekpot's out of it. It seems... Is Twitch having problems with chat today again? <laughs> La Plaza Paris. Thursday, 4. Paris, France. Socket is closed. Ah, uh, god damn it. Uh, I I gotta I gotta kill this. Give me a moment here. Long it both. Come back. Can we show Yorkie's gift soon? Yes, we, we will soon. Hello! <laughs> Alright, there she is. Happy to hear Disney intros is another language. I can... <coughs> well, well, hopefully I can guide you. I ran down the list of names in the Plaza directory. Hairdressing school. Never give up, never surrender! <laughs> Distinctive soft ice cream. Yes, that sounds like my jam. I grabbed Tar's armor. <laughs> I actually have no idea how we write that down. I think I should have saved there. Ice cream, mister? I don't even remember what we were looking for. Spiderweb? Actually, I'm health inspector. Your number's up. No, I've fallen behind. You're finally behind on your payments. How about French vanilla surprise? I'm a health inspector. What's your number? Oh yeah, the Yorkie gift. The Yorkie gift is right here. We're gonna open it. We're gonna open it in a while. I'm so excited. This one's been standing in... Uh, Right one of my shelves for almost a month now. <laughs> I've been so excited. Get him, boys! <laughs> what? Yeah, I think Yurik is like just is lurking around. After a long battle, I was sure that I'd catch a bad cold. <laughs> so there's one e ending. <laughs> we 
We're not supposed to go to the ice cream shop, I think. But if you're if you're gonna go stream soon, maybe I should open it like now. So that you're actually here for it. Right? I'm just looking for an excuse to get to open it. <laughs> Looking for an excuse to be hidden. Why? Why do you want that? It's apparently very fragile. You can see it here. It says fragile. It doesn't sound fragile though. Uh, hairdressing is. It's well packed. Oh my, I almost showed my own name and address. Almost. I should be make sure I don't show that. Or that side, for that matter. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> come in, come in! Okay, okay! Steve Keen. I'm looking for clone hydrants. I'm a low Lou Snort. The repairman. Where's your equipment room? I'm Steve Keen. I'm looking for clone hydrants. Let's just be honest this time around. Redistribution of things. Ah, Stevie. Everyone. How do you make a French accent? Ah, Stevie. Everyone has a story. Ah, Stevie. Everyone has a story. Oui, oui, Stevie. Ah, my hair. I'll never work as a secret agent again. Oh wait, that's Steve. I'll never work as a secret agent again. I actually lost a life. Need to get a copy of Thief 2 for guns. Does he have a copy of Thief 1 already? I don't remember if he ever got one. Alright, so let's go to the electronics shop this time around. Or anything around, or like a pair of scissors. I can actually open this box. Is this thing sharp? No, this is a. It's a. It's a. It's a, it's a pipe. Um, what do you call it? Like a pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaning kit. But it's not sharp. The door to Spartax Electronics opened 
with a bit of, a bit of persuasion. Anyone know? You can't kill the boogeyman. <laughs> Good to know. Could I? Hmm. I will need to go fetch a knife or something to open this one. I found two items of interest in the files. I didn't get to see what it was. Suddenly. I really like this tune. Open the pod bay doors. Ow. Say, what's that behind you? Watch out, mister. I got a gun. <laughs> People don't like the sweet. Commodore 64 audio, eh? 16 volt paralysis ray. 16 volts? That's not much at all. Correction, 16,000. Memo, buy a new math chip. This storyline is a lot more uh, fatal. But I think the electronics shop was the correct choice. Game makes you tired. Right, so here's some secret files. A a contract with Hey Higher Robotics, a bacon tomato sandwich. Suddenly. I wonder what you're supposed to say to not get killed. Open the pod bay doors. This sounds like a computer reference. Pod day doors. Pod bay doors. And Hal is probably a computer name. Did again. Let's try the last um, electronics alternative, and then we'll exhausted that path. Then we at least know that that's not the way to go. Yeah, that was my thinking too. Since it was like a, a, a science fiction reference, it could work on a robot. Apparently that's, that's not how it works.
I realized just now, had I had a better microphone, I could have sung you a happy birthday song and probably played the tune to it. But I think it's gonna sound horrible with my current mic. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I have been thinking of getting a better microphone though. Like getting a like a proper microphone with a what do you call it? Like one of those supportive arms? We call a boom mic? Say, hey, what's that behind you? So this is apparently the alternative. I did what any good spy does in these situations. I lived to see the next frame. Yes, Roar, we've completed one of the stories. The one about the kidnapped professor. Oh! Minigame! Uh... Alright, so you're not supposed to pick those up. Well, at least we know that now. Let's see now. What is it called? Robots. Keen's job is to blow up all six stations in a gang. This is equipped with a kind of explosive disc with a remote ignition. The discus must be thrown and detonated above a station. Oh, so that's how it works. Let's just activate Time Warp here for this to run by faster. Fire Breathing Phoenix and Radiant Hills of Debris. Alright. I've activated Warp Mode. So it, uh, it runs at 300%. Or even 400. So it is four times as fast. It's still pretty slow. Well, this is basically the speed you would have wanted it at. <laughs> pretty crazy when you think of it. It's still a few seconds of load time. So let's activate warp again. D, A, B, C, D. How's everything with roar? I saw you were streaming earlier. What are you, what are you fighting with at the moment? Still wounded. <laughs> the GDQ battle scars. Pay attention, Keen. 
We're watching a movie about fire hydrants that duplicate. The duplicate magfist battle scars. Didn't you get that wounded GDQ? Oh, you get wasted. Not real hydrants, but ingenious machine. Oh wait, here we are. You were a GDQ, right? Yeah. How'd you like it? Was it was it good? That bad. It looked like it looked like a few scratches just on those images. But I'm I'm guessing it was worse. Oh shit. <laughs> I I wasn't really sure if you're just like being a bit jokey and funny, but like, oh, this is my battle wounds, and it looked like you were just scratched a bit. But if those were like deep bruises, then I can actually understand you <laughs> you're being in pretty deep pain. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah, shit. Man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright, now voting is open everyone. You want to see more of Accolade's comics, also known as The Adventure of Steve Keen. Get your votes in everyone, get your votes in. What, have the bot died again? God damn it. There's definitely something going on at Twitch today. The bot keeps dying all the time. Let's see if the bot manages to get back. Oh no. It's it's <laughs> it's that the bot is not connected to chat at all. <laughs> It doesn't see your votes. If we're lucky, the reconnect timer will uh, will make it reconnect in time. Otherwise, I'll I'll just launch another vote as soon as this one's over. But I know from experience, uh, stopping votes mid votes doesn't always have the intended consequences. But I know it does 10 attempts at reconnecting, and then it just gives up. Yeah, you're right. We could probably count it. But, my statistics, man! My statistics!
Hey! The bot's back. You got 10 seconds, everyone. Hurry! I think this one actually warrants a second vote. What? God damn it! Ah. Oh. <laughs> the, the emulator crashed just as that happened. Ah, uh, let's just call it fate, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it crashed like two seconds after. Ah, alright. Yeah, sure. I'm fine with it, I'm fine with it. It's a decent game. Nah, nah, it's just passable. Beat Professor Story. My first time playing, and uh, nothing else. An interactive choose your adventure comic book with the occasional mini game. It's pretty good, right? Well, Cho oh. <laughs> Cho choose. Well, not really. The loading time between each frame is like 5 to 10 seconds. The music is pretty bad. And <laughs> the, the mini games. Is it too... I... Like, choose... Choose... Chose... Choose... One of them... Alright, so choose... Choose... Choose is present tense, and... Chose... One O is past tense, and two O's is present and future tense. Chose is past tense. All right, thank you. The mini games are quite are unintuitive and laggy, but I kind of like the humor. in the game <laughs> and it is kind of fun to mess around with plus big props for the save system all in all a mediocre game me medioker mediocre how do you spell that? Medio... Mediocre. Mediocre. Alright. Yeah, let's give it a passable. My first time, but... Mediocre. Yeah. Well, 